So we're here talking about hand postures and I've set up the camera so that you can get a better look at my hand. Now a lot of this I would have spoken about when speaking about uh, treating the erector mass generally. Uh, what we're talking about here is using the hypothenar eminence and the thenar eminence or essentially this portion of the hand. Now we talked about broad contact before, right, or the broad hand. What ends up happening when you're using the thenar portion of the hand is it looks a lot like broad, the broad hand contact, right? But more often than not, it's because what you're trying to do is you're trying to take a broad area of tissue and move it uh, often across tissue uh, fiber direction. So what ends up happening is instead of having the whole hand placed, what will happen is often the palm and the fingers will come up so that you can apply pressure. One of the keys to this is the concept of a straight arm so that you can have lean on pressure. Now, as with using the broad hand, what I'm able to do is identify where there's more tension within this broad area of contact, it's just not the whole hand. I can push across the tissue fiber direction, keeping a straight arm, sometimes because I'm leaning onto the heel of my hand, onto the thenar and hypothenar eminence, what ends up happening is I can wear out my wrist or I can put a lot of pressure on my wrist. So in doing this, I have a broad area of contact, so although it's not my whole hand, I still have the concept of the broad hand or the concept of a large sur contact surface. So if I was to compare the areas, it's right under here where this patient presents more tension. So this is the area that I'm, I want to work. Now I don't actually have to move my hand again, but as an assessment tool, I may want to. Right? So this area is now more of an area that I'm interested in. So the area that I was initially in, Right, that where there's more tension being here has now been placed in the middle of my hand, so between the thenar and hypothenar eminence. And what I'm able to do is again use that straight arm lean on pressure that, as I was alluding to a moment ago, I can very easily put a lot of pressure on my wrist. So, something very intelligent to do is to brace my wrist. So, now I'm still using the same area for contact, but my wrist is more protected. I don't have to use as much muscular force from this arm to keep my wrist steady, it's both arms. And now all I have to do is just lean my body in, which isn't as visible because of the weight that I've set the camera up, but I want you to be able to see my hand. Now you see, as I started pushing, I automatically happen to bring my fingers down. Uh, that's just so that I'm not going into extension with the fingers a lot. So I'm not really working those muscles, I'm just letting it fall flat. But there is a gap in here where there's no contact. So I'm really getting no information from it. And any information I would get from my fingertips if I was paying attention would be discontinuous. It wouldn't really give me the understanding I want. My area of focus is the thenar and hypothenar eminence. This tends to be quite good uh, when you have broad areas of tissue that you're trying to move across fiber direction as I mentioned earlier.